Jakeem Grant from his end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. maybe three. Look, all any running back wants is a little bit of room, a little bit of space in order to maneuver, but he also understands how difficult it is for his offensive line up front, so if they give him any space, he realizes his job to make more out of it than what they give him picks up three on that carry. Watson's throw taken in by Cooper here, and he gets this one just shy of the 40 to mark him down at the 39. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. They'll go left side on the ground with Chubb. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Now four. They run it again with Chubb. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play that time, and they'll look to convert on what will be a third and four. Defensively, we always know that he is tough and run support, and I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. Now Watson. He's going to get that to his running back out of the backfield. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers' 44-yard line. Watson now to throw. Oh, he was hit as he threw it there, and that one winds up incomplete. Nice progress down the field. Is halted by that incompletion. They could try for some silk yards here to get things moving again, or keep throwing it and pushing it downfield to try and pick up bigger yardage. A shotgun snap for Watson. Letting one fly deep for Cooper. And this is caught inside the five. A big play that time for Cleveland. 43 yards. We expected this defense to be tested by this passing game coming into this one. And there's an example on this first possession of the game. First and goal. A chance for an early statement here on the road. Watson. Eluding the pressure right. And he'll just throw this one over in the way of the security crew. Incomplete here. And down here, first and goal. If it's not there, don't force it. You've got at least two, if not three more shots at it. So that's a wise move to get rid of it. Chubb is into the end zone. Following the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. There he goes, right side. Still going past the 30. And he'll bring it back all the way. Touchdown, Carolina. Well, there you go. They gave up the score to start the game, and as quick as they could get it back, they did on the return. And people talk about this all the time, whether you're coaching it, whether you're trying. Oh, they flip it to the kicker. He looks like he's going to throw it. It's a wobbler, and it's intercepted. Then he'll take it all the way out of bounds, but not before he's across the 35. The Cleveland offense ready to go. Alert, alert. 
Watson on first down. Got an open man. That's David Njoku, the tight end. 13 yards, picking up the first. A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. From just across the midfield stripe, here's a second and eight. From the gun, here's Watson. Swings this out for Hunt. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. That'll move the sticks for the Browns, a gain of 12. Faking the give, now Watson. And here he's got Grant. And he's won a one-point game, 7-6. The start of the second quarter, and it's the Browns in control of the football as they go to work on a first and goal. Here's Watson. Forced out to his left. Flying in there and dropping it for the sack. A first carry now for Kareem Hunt. And he'll get this one back to the five-yard line, but no further than that. It'll go as no gain on the play, and now they're looking at a third and goal. Now Watson on third and goal. Trying here for Bryant, and it's intercepted. Xavier Woods with a pick. And the Panthers are going to get it back here just shy of the 20. Definitely not the ideal time to see that mistake, partner, because this is still a one-possession game, and that's at least a field goal that just vanished with that turnover. Now, pressure's on defensively to prevent that pick from turning into points for the other side. Following the interception, Young steps away to his left. And he just gets rid of it, throws it away. The wise move there looked like nobody open. Now second down. I tell you what, that's a veteran play. It's the right decision. Young off the play fake. A short throw hauled in by Trimble. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 30. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. And to getting it to the open man, that's good recognition there. And how about what he did after the catch? Yeah, hit your tight end, let him get some rack. Yeah, when he, when he gets moving, not many guys want to come over and put a hit on him, do they? <laughs> Whether that's a little grabbing, a little hand fighting, by any means necessary on third down, he was able to get the job done in the secondary. Territory, but they only need a few inches, so they're going to opt to go for this thing. We'll see. Maybe a surprise pass or run. What will they do? We're about to find out. Fourth down. Now he's loose at the 40. Inside the 20. Touchdown, Carolina. Miles Sanders. 71 yards, and the Panthers' decision to go for it pays off with six points. When they dialed up that fourth down run, something tells me they didn't envision it hitting all the way up in the end zone. No, I think you're right about that, but how many times do we witness short yardage runs, stacked defensive front, everyone pressing the line of scrimmage? Well, there's not much help on the back side there. You pop through, it's well not to return it. The Browns drive about to get started. And a close game like this, Charles, those interceptions like they had on the last drive could be costly, but here they've got another opportunity to seize control of this game. And they better take advantage of it because otherwise, if they end up losing by one score, they'll relive this over and over and over until they have another opportunity to wipe it away. To throw on second is Watson. 
Looking deep in the direction of Cooper. And that will be incomplete. Trying to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. He certainly had a good game throwing the ball so far, but I think he was trying to take that from good to great with that throw, trying to get one downfield. Now it's Watson. He's got his target. That's complete. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. So from Panther territory now, it's first and 10 at the 49-yard line. We've hit the two-minute mark in the second quarter, 14 to 7. First down, they'll run with Hunt. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Watson trying to get his guys moving. On second down, here's Watson. Under pressure now, Watson, and down he goes. They bring the safety on the blitz, and he busts through to drop him for an eight-yard loss. Following that sack, Watson and the Browns backed up for a third and long. The play-action fake. They'll look to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop him. That one goes for 36 yards. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. From the red zone now, Watson. And this is going to be intercepted. Jeremy Chin picks it up. And the Panthers are going to take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20-yard line. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And with a seven-point lead, they'll likely look to take this to the locker room and not really press the issue. Oh, Young loses it. And this is picked up by the Browns. And he's into the end zone. It's a fumble return for a Browns TD. And Charles, look at the big fella. What a rumble that was. Not only to scoop it, but then takes officially. So a net gain of one there. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. And he'll let this one go deep for Chark. And it's intercepted. Picked off by Greg Newsom. And the Browns force the turnover. And they'll take over at the 10. Final play of the first half, barring a penalty as they come up on first and 10. They'll indeed start on the ground to run that clock. And he's going to be taken down here as that will lead us to the end of the first half of play. That's it for the first half. Bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. Well, the first half, very even. I mean, really, in all facets, this ball game tied, Charles, so as we start the third quarter. Curious to see what the second half brings us. Certainly am. I'm with you on that one, and we all know a lot of coaches from the NFL all the way down to the Pee Wee level. They love to spin it to their teams. Hey, we're starting a brand-new, shorter ball game. It's all even. Let's go out and seize it. This is ours. Young to throw it. Open here, Adam Thielen. Yeah, he'll get this one right just shy of the 45 yard line. 23 yards to pick up there. One of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play. Never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. going to take this across the 50 in the Browns territory. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. Eight yards on the pickup. Brings up second and two. Blue, black. Eight old blue. 
Here is Young. And his throw is going to be incomplete. And there's a good opportunity. Just want to ride there. A drop pass. I guess that's why they call them running backs and not catching backs. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. Man in motion left, Mingo. They'll try and run for it with Sanders. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. 95 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Now Young. That's going to be caught. It's Chanel. Give him 32 on the play. And quickly they get to the line. Young keeping it himself for the yard out. The Cleveland offense ready to go. And this game was all square at halftime, but now they find themselves down seven following the opening drive touchdown here in the third quarter. And they need to take a good, relaxing, deep breath, don't you think? Because right now they might start to feel like they've got to play catch up here and start matching that point for point but it's still too early to get there. They can still run their offense. Plenty of time to get back in this game. They run again on first down, Chubb. And down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. Here's Watson now on second down. Out route here going to Hunt. He's got it. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. Out of the gun, Watson. Completes it right side to Cooper. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. Here we go on fourth. Watson. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. So certainly an interesting call there to go for it. And the Panthers are going to get it back in excellent field position. Off the play fake, Young. And that is incomplete. Now the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. Give them credit winning that first snap. It's a little bit if they took the field charged up after taking over after a turnover. Drill three. Steel black. Young. He'll find Thielen working the middle. And they're able to get this one past the third down. The track. Looking to speed things up here, going with some tempo. First and 10. Running right, here's Sanders. And that'll hurt the average a bit as this time they're able to get him behind the line. We have played three quarters. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. And we're back now in Charlotte. It's the Panthers out in front and in control of the football as well as we begin quarter number four. Here we go. Looking at a second and 11 now after the loss. They'll go again with Sanders. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. They'll run with Sanders. And he is in. Touchdown, Carolina. Miles Sanders with his second touchdown of the night. And the Panthers have opened up a two-touchdown lead here in this fourth quarter. Oh, and now they're going to fake it. And he'll be hit as 
his heat zone right there. Yeah, I know these young whippersnappers are trying to do different things in this game, but let's go back to old reliable. Kick the ball through the post. Get off my lawn. That's darn right. The Browns drive about to get started. Now it's Watson, a bootleg. This will be well too low for him to bring in. It's incomplete. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. Now a throw here to his running back. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. Throwing on third down, Watson. A throw right side here, going to be incomplete. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage, and just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. Desperation time, Watson on fourth down. He's got his running back out of the backfield, and he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Watson looks to throw again. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. It's C.J. Henderson picking it off, and the Panthers are going to...